In this lab demonstration, I'm going to show you some different deployment patterns for Kubernetes. Kubernetes is great for deploying containerized applications because it adds some controller logic that enables us to do really safe rollouts and updates of our apps. So the objectives of this demonstration are to first perform a rolling update of a Kubernetes deployment. I'll then perform a rollback to the previous version. I'll demonstrate the canary pattern for testing changes with a subset of production traffic. And finally, I'll demonstrate the blue-green pattern for deploying new versions. To make this demo a bit easier to run, I've created a Kubernetes cluster in Google Kubernetes Engine. Here's my three-node demo cluster. And here is my deployment. This is a simple stateless deployment of a Hello World app. And as you can see, I've got three managed replica pods, and I've also exposed my application with a load balancer service. This is my Hello World website, and as you can see, this is currently running version one of my application. In container registry, you can see that I also have a version two of this application. Using kubectl, I can see that I've currently got three pods running. I'm using declarative configuration for Kubernetes, which means that I've defined my deployments in YAML. Here's the YAML file for my Hello World deployment, specifying three replicas and running version one of my application. So let's imagine I want to update this to version two. The declarative way of doing this is to update the container image version in the deployment YAML and then apply the changes to the cluster. My deployment has a rolling update strategy. That means the deployment controller will add new pods with the new version of my container and take old pods away until eventually all of my old pods have been replaced. My rolling update strategy makes this a very safe way to update an application. The max surge parameter specifies that I will only tolerate one additional pod at any point during the update process. And the max unavailable parameter specifies that I won't tolerate any unhealthy pods. That means if a pod with the new version of my container spins up and is not healthy, the rollout will halt and my existing healthy pods will remain in place. In the meantime, my service will only direct traffic to healthy pods, so my users are none the wiser. I'm going to run kubectl get pods minus w in another tab so that we can watch the state of the pods while we do the update. And now I'll apply my changes to the cluster with kubectl apply. The configuration is applied and switching quickly back to the other tab, you can see that new pods are being created and as soon as they are ready, the old pods are being deleted. So I now have three pods running on the new version of my container. If I reload my website, I can see we're now on version two. Now let's say I wasn't actually ready to update my application to version two, or maybe I've broken some functionality in my website. What happens if I want to roll back to the previous version? I can do this very quickly with kubectl rollout undo. My deployment is rolled back. And again, if I switch quickly to the other tab, you can see the same process happens again, where the current pods are deleted one by one and replaced with pods from the previous version. And now I'm back to version one. So now let's say I fixed the problem in my application and I want to update to version two again, but I just want to test version two on a subset of my production traffic. This is called a canary pattern. We set up a canary pattern in Kubernetes by having an additional deployment that just runs a fraction of the number of pods of the main deployment. Here's the YAML manifest for my canary deployment. As you can see, it's going to run version two of my application, but it's only going to create one replica pod. I'll apply this manifest to the cluster. And now I've got four pods running, three at version one and my canary pod at version two. My load balancer service has a selector, which is just looking for pods that match app equals hello world. So it will match any of my running pods, version one or version two. That means in practice, roughly 25% of my traffic will go to my canary version. 
I can test this by reloading my web page. Eventually I'll get to version 2, but it's not very scientific. Instead, I'm going to run curl in a bash loop to retrieve the version number from my website. As you can see, we're now getting version 2 roughly 25% of the time, although you'd have to run this loop for at least 10 minutes or so to be more accurate. The final pattern I want to show you is the blue-green pattern. In this pattern, we actually maintain two completely separate deployments, but only have one of them as the live deployment. We can then take our time to prepare new versions in the other deployment and instantly switch traffic between the two. So first I'm just going to remove my original deployment and the canary. And now I'll show you the YAML manifests for our blue and green deployments. The blue deployment is pretty much like my original deployment. I have three pod replicas running version 1 of my container. In the spec for my pod replicas, I've now added some additional metadata. Along with app equals hello world, I now have version equals blue. Likewise, in my green deployment YAML, I have three pod replicas running version 2 of my container, and I've added the metadata label version equals green. All I need to do is update my service object and add this additional label to my selector. So I'll spin up these deployments by applying the manifests to my cluster. And then reapply my service YAML to use the new selector. As you can see, I now have six pods, three for my blue deployment and three for my green deployment. And right now, my load balancer service will only direct traffic to my blue deployment. Going back to my other tab, you can see right now, every request to my website is returning version one. So let's say I've got version two of my application ready and I want to launch it to my users. All I need to do is change the selector in my service. I change it from blue to green, reapply the manifest to my cluster, and instantly traffic is switched to version two. Now that my users are running on version two in my green deployment, I'm free to work on the next iteration of my application in the blue deployment and switch traffic to the blue deployment as soon as it's ready. And don't forget, Kubernetes deployment patterns are all about safety. So let's say if I did switch all my traffic to the green deployment and I discovered an error or a bug, I can of course immediately switch back by just updating the service object again. I'll reapply the manifest and traffic instantly switches back to version one. That concludes this lab demonstration.